Hi Church family, Pastor Dan here and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. I find out sometimes I, I find myself looking, looking down, uh, especially maybe when I'm, when I'm walking up the stairs or um, you know, I'm prone to, uh, to tripping when walking up the stairs, so I'm trying to look at where my feet goes. But I find that when, you, when you're looking down or even walking for a while, if you have your head down, you, you feel this almost a sense of negative, negativeness, like it actually affects the mood in which you have in that day. The posture of your body, the way in which you actually act and, and, and are, can affect how you actually feel. You know, if you're slouching down and you're actually looking down for most of the day, it actually gives you a negative outlook on life. Whereas the opposite as well, if you're you know, high, you know, full of energy and you're, and you're looking up and you're positive and um, it actually gives you a positive outlook and view for the day. It actually affects your, mu your mood. It's quite interesting. The same come, sometimes comes with a relationship with God. Let me draw you to Psalm 118 and read uh, the first nine verses. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all of Israel repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, His faithful love endures forever. In my distress I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph all those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. And he goes on and on. But something you see is a repetitiveness of a positive attitude towards God. You know, his faithful love endures forever. These words are, are repeated uh, not by just one group of people, but uh, various groups of people in the nation of Israel. It was a habit in which they had where they actually repeating these words or promises that God had given to actually gave them a positive outlook on on life and actually saw God in a different light. You know, moving around, moping around with your head down affects sometimes even re your relationship with God. Actually not looking towards what God is doing. The same thing when you're walking around. If you're not looking towards what's ahead, you'll, you'll sometimes miss things. You know, looking towards the negative things in life. Sometimes in our relationship with God, we, we do focus on those negative things. But sometimes we need to just lift our eyes towards the Lord. You know, lift our eyes, give thanks, and declare who God is. Repeat what God has done. Continue to read what God has done and what God can continue to do. We are to lift our eyes to God. And to his greatness, to who he is. And if we do that, it actually affects our view of the world. It gives us a positive view of what was and what is to come. So my encouragement today is that you, you lift your head or lift your eyes to the Lord. Just like posture, looking up and, 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 and seeing what, what's ahead gives you a positive mood. Do the same with God, looking towards God, lifting your head, understanding his promises and being thankful for what he has done and what he will continue to do and trusting in that. And you will see the good God does in the world and not focus on the bad things. So try that today. Walk around with your head, head up high and see how it positive affects, positively affects your mood uh, and do the same with God and look towards him. Let me pray. Lord, we, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you that we can read this very word and, and be thankful for what you've done before to understand your, your words. Lord, understand what you've done, the story of those who followed you in the past and, Lord, how that can affect us today. Lord, help us today, those that are listening, to lift our head towards you. Lift our eyes to you, Lord. 
and to see what you have for us. Amen. Keep walking with God. Talk to him. Let him talk back as you read the Bible. And when he does speak to you, you want to be trusting and obeying what he has, lifting your eyes towards him. And keep looking for opportunities as well to bless other peoples with God's words. We'll see you soon. Thank you.